On this, my 70th birthday, I'll recite one of my favorite poems, Warning, by Jenny Joseph. When I'm old, I'll wear purple. Aloha and welcome to my channel, The Baby Boomer Booktuber. Also welcome to my Hale, mi casita, my tiny bit of paradise. My name is Marilyn Maya Mendoza and today is my 70th birthday. Hooray for me! Yeah, I know, I'm old, right? Wrong! Yesterday a random person on the phone asking for my date of birth laughed when I gave it to her and said, you made it! I don't know if I like that. It sounded so final. I'm still here and hope to stick around for as long as possible alive and kicking. Well, I have hip arthritis, so I don't kick too high anymore. I found BookTube Googling around and knew I found a gold mine of bookish people like me, those of us who understand that reading makes everything better. Instead of starting with the BookTube newbie tag, which is coming soon, I want to give you a snapshot of what to expect from my channel and some, I hope, interesting facts about me. My goal for this channel is to bring readers from all walks of life together. I'm not a fan of the generation gap or ageism. When I was young, I hung around older people, and now that I'm older, I do the opposite. I hate the OK Boomer line. Boomers and older folk come in different stripes. I also want to focus my channel on reading as a means of connecting books that bring joy and solve problems and society. I also want to focus my channel on reading as a means of connecting books that bring joy and solve personal and societal problems and issues, but in my own zany way. I'm a person with an anxiety disorder, specifically agoraphobia and panic attacks. I've been in healing mode for a long time, but there's no cure yet. What helped me heal the most wasn't therapy or meds, though I'm not against either. What worked was reading and writing down my pain, first in poetry and spoken word, and later in memoir. I'm also a published author. I'm Latina. Born in Manhattan and raised in a Brooklyn, New York City project. And my culture and experience have shaped my life as it does for all of us. I used to dance salsa and Latin jazz on stage in New York, Madrid, Spain, and Hawaii, or in Spanish, Nueva York, Madrid, España, y Hawaii. My last performance was seven years ago. I was already old, but feisty. I still am. I use a cane when I go out, so I have some mobility challenges, but I still dance when I can and jump on a mini trampoline to old time salsa music. I also love watching singing and dancing contests on TV. I miss you so you think you can dance. I've lived and taught English as a second or foreign language in Spain, Japan, the Philippines, and St. Paul, Minnesota, as well as here in Hawaii. I moved to Hawaii in 1976 at the age of 25 with two small children not knowing a soul. This appears to contradict the diagnosis of agoraphobia. Au contraire, Panic attacks and agoraphobia arrive suddenly and often leave just as fast, only to return again and again. Agoraphobia is a complicated illness. I've started reading the controversial book, The Woman in the Window by A.J. Finn, the first fiction book on the subject that I've attempted. My jam is a lot of mysteries and thrillers. So far, I'm not a Finn fan, but since I've only read the first 50 pages, I will defer my opinion to give the book a fair chance. I used to stay home for long periods. It's just my luck that now when I can go out, I can't because of the virus. I still struggle with getting ready to leave. 
it causes me a lot of anxiety so I give myself a lot of time to get ready reading has been a great help and I never stopped believing I would heal and I never stopped reading or writing even when I practically lived in a walk-in closet I'm honest when it comes to the books I love or hate I'm not afraid of ranting about books I've thrown across rooms I'm passionate about my opinions I hope that doesn't get me into trouble but I have to be me I want to include books from genres I don't read anymore like fantasy I read mostly fairy tales when I was a kid but I must have overdosed because I've not read the genre for ages thanks to booktubers who communicate their joy of fantasy here on booktube I've already put one in my TBR Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nyan uh oh I just noticed this book is part one of a series and I've never read books in a series except reading all the books from a favorite author well the time is now mostly I want to give a voice to all creators of art no matter what age or challenges they face like the famed Scottish writer and minister Ian McLaren wrote and it was wrongly attributed to Plato be kind everyone you meet is carrying a heavy burden so true so true on this my 70th birthday I'll recite one of my favorite poems warning by Jenny Joseph when I'm old I'll wear purple when I ask permission from the owner of warnings copyright a literary agency that shall remain nameless except for the letter writer a certain mr. Babcock he said no because they couldn't control my content on YouTube. What does that even mean? Confused, I went online and found the poem on various websites they had given permission to. For example, one called Late Bloomer, which by the way, looked interesting, but I digress. The poem was also read by various actresses like the great Helena Bonham Carter I loved her in Room with a View, and she recited Warning Beautifully. But Mr. Babcock, you suck. To calm down, I created a short alternative verse to that iconic poem that I was denied to recite. I'm 70, so I'll wear any darn color I please. Dance a mambo and chartreuse, swing from a trapeze. As a proud Latina from back in the day, I'll wear tight red dresses till they cart me away. Please subscribe to my channel for more of the Baby Boomer Booktuber with Marilyn Maya. Hit the like button and don't forget to hit the notification bell and share this video. Comment below and invite your friends, your parents. Until we meet again, stay safe. Aloha.